What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're starting it off here at our pool hall arcade. Let's go ahead and twist the camera around, get behind these barriers and boom, here's our little arcade set up in the corner. But what's weird about this one is the cut to win was off when we came in. So don't like to see that. We need to get a Nyax on there or a Kiosoft unit so we can see when our machines have been turned off. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in to our coin pusher and see how much it made for the week. We've got to twist off both of these locks. And our money's going to be right in the back there. And actually, a little Pokemon figurine fell down in there. But that's not bad for a week. You're looking right around 50 bucks for that machine. So very, very good. We just went ahead and dumped it all into our changer down here. You can't really see where the quarters are. But there is one built into this machine let's see how much the changer made for the week again this isn't profit we're just changing quarters into dollars so whatever you see here is not profit it was the quarters back there so but a little stack there for the week not our best week from this location but not our worst moving on to our three mini claw machines in this location first up is our pokemon one and this one i assume would do the best and Got a decent amount of cash in there. There was two $5 bills in this pool right here. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and check the quarters and see what that did. And very nice as well. This location runs off of quarters, all the, the pool games. So it's nice to see all those quarters down there. Next up is our SpongeBob and Patrick, along with some Boba. A nice mix from Eva in there. And that didn't do as good as the Pokemon, but still a couple dollars in there. And quarters were pretty full too about five bucks right there but now our 50 cent machine our all-star vending plush let's see how much this did compare the plush what plush comes out on top what plush should you run in your machines and wah 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 only one dollar in there not great compared to the other plush from eva especially at 50 cents you can really see the difference right there the Pokemon and Patrick stuff was priced at, priced at $1, and it still kicks the other one's butt. But anyway, now on to our cut to win, the collection everybody wanted to see, and we've got it turned on, so hopefully it stays on from this point, and we don't have any problems. I might have to buy some tin strips, because they are very, very bright machines, but a little disappointing of a collection, and only about ten dollars and quarters there but and a little stack this this overall collection from the pool hall has been a really really down week so not not as good as we usually get but two five dollar bills right on top so kind of redeemed us just got back from the pool hall location pretty decent stack 20 right on top this location always does a lot of five dollar bills you can see in there in total we made 144 dollars the cut to win was off when we came in there so that was a little weird um talked to the owner and they said they had to shut it off for a cornhole tournament so i need to figure something out for to maybe like tint the lights because they are very very bright so i see where he's coming from um but yeah um the cut to win didn't make as much as i thought it was gonna make but uh then i don't, I don't know when the cornhole tournament was so it could have been off the whole week and that money we could have been seeing was from one day so don't really know we'll know in the long run this location i've only had for about four weeks and that cut to win has only been here for a week so you know don't really know what exactly it's gonna make but telltale sign 144 dollars for one week i mean that's that's great <laughs> but uh definitely this location has done better in the past i mean it's made 177 dollars in one day so if that tells you anything about this location it's pretty good but yeah, that was pretty decent collection. Definitely nothing to complain about, $144. But next we're going to go on to a chicken spot. And then after that, head on to a Mexican restaurant that both have mini cranes. Let's go ahead and get that done. Next up is one of our chicken restaurants. Let's go ahead and fill it up with plush. As you can see, it's pretty well played for the week, this location usually have some pretty deep, decent playage. I really need to turn it down because there's way too many winners from this location with how much money we're making. I would say it's probably half the time a winner. We like to see one in six. 
but very, very nice amount of quarters right there, over $10 in quarters. And this location always does great on quarters, so that's good to see that it's keeping it up. Let's go ahead and move on to the cash down here and see how much we did. Trying to do this with one hand is a little difficult, but a decent little stack there. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the cassette here. Very, very nice stack. This location made $63 for the week. Now on to one of my best locations, and you can see how much it got played. We totally revamped this machine, and it's looking very, very nice with all that new Pokemon stuff in there. This location used to have a Candy Machines Mini, and now we replaced it with a Mega Mini, and as you can see, it is just loaded with dollars. And this is only after one week, so very, very, very nice. Look at that stack in there. Along with the quarters, those were absolutely looking good too. Very nice. Just got back from our Mexican restaurant location. Look at that cash right there. The Mega Mini is supreme to the Super Mini from Candy Machines. I, I, just, I don't know why, um, maybe the graphics on it, but this location made $133 for the week. This location was only doing about 80 to 100 with the uh, Candy Machines Mini. And uh, I, don't, I don't know why that is. Same plush, same everything. I mean, it's only been a week, so maybe I'm giving the Mega Mini too much credit, but $133 is absolutely amazing. I just wonder what like a Gamer Mini or a Gamer Quest would do, just how much more it would do, draw people in. But yeah, $133 from this location. That's definitely what we wanna see. This is probably a record from this location, and I have the, I've had this location for a year and a half. This was my second location ever. So that's just amazing. Now we're gonna go on to our seafood restaurant where we have the rubber ducks. And then our last location of the day, another chicken spot that has been pretty good averaging around a hundred bucks. So the last three locations are definitely amazing. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Now on to our one claw machine that only has rubber ducks and the mega prizes one that was a six inch rubber duck. We went ahead and set up like a Pokemon themed mega prize up there. And it was looking very good. We've run those six inch rubber ducks up there in the mega prize for a while. So figured switching it up would get some new players. And we were looking good on the coins right there. Very nice. This is one of my top locations. I don't really worry about it at all. Let's go ahead and check the cash and see if it did well too. And a very, very nice stack there after only one week. Very, very nice. Just got back from our seafood location. Very nice stack there. Look at that right there. Boom, $89 for the week. Very, very good. And again, this machine is just rubber duck. So that's amazing just for a duck machine. But next up is our final location, a chicken spot. We're gonna go there and collect. And that location has been making a lot, like I mentioned in the last clip, but let's go ahead and finish out that video, this video with that location, and then go ahead and get you our totals for the whole collection. And here we are at our last location of the day. Don't forget to check out toyboxhq.net. I will leave a description down below, but you can see many of the plush you see on screen. You can get them at that link for a discount. Use code COLGREEN to get a good discount on your plush at checkout. But anyway, let's go ahead and see how much this machine made after just one week. And very, very nice on the dollar bills right there. These Mega Minis are too so well compared to the Candy Machines Mini. From now on, I will definitely go all Mega Minis on my route, but that is very, very good from this location. And this is only my fourth collection from this location, so it's been on a roll over $100 every single week. This location made 106 this week. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and get you our totals of how much we collected from all the locations, our commission cost, our gas cost, our product cost, and see how much profit we made for all this, these locations. Our total from the five locations was $535. That is great. I look to average $100 a week, so that is quite amazing from those locations. Our gas cost was $23. Our commission cost was $86. Bucks, and our product cost was $89, bringing our grand total of profit to $343 for this collection. Very, very nice, especially from only five locations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Toybox HQ, link in description. 
I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe. Peace.